What's up guys? Transition month is almost here. And you may be wondering what exactly is transition month and what do I actually need to do? And if you haven't been a part of any type of transition month, what is it? I don't know. So many questions. <sighs> Let's get started. So the transition month is commonly um, on February and August now since they've changed the catalog season. Um, and this is a month where you're ending out your fall and winter catalog or your spring summer and you're preparing for the next catalog season. So you're kind of jumbling a little bit of two um, seasons of the catalogs right now. So you may be wondering, okay, what do I actually need to promote? What do I actually need? And how do I go about all of it? First things first, um, I'm gonna go against what a lot of people say and just basically say, it's entirely up to you how you wanna promote the catalog. When you wanna promote it, how you wanna promote it, how often you wanna promote it, what products you wanna promote, how you wanna do it, it's entirely up to you because it's your business and you know what's best for your business and oftentimes we just type kind of just try to give you a little bit of advice and guide on how we do it to see if maybe that's something you would want to do it. So how I promote the catalog is I collect information um, and through an order form, not an order form, a draft form, and I save it for the next two to three weeks. And then once everything comes in, um, I then um, will start sending out the catalogs to customers and and do a follow-up process on that as well so I usually wait till like later in the month because during the month I'm spending a lot of time promoting what's leaving and letting customers know of what scents are leaving and trying to push a little bit more of the Scentsy Club to get people on that. And then towards the end is when I start letting people know what is coming back. Um, I will forewarn you, there are customers that know how to find out about the catalog and they're very impatient and they don't care if, how you wanna promote it and they will find it no matter what. Um, other people will promote the catalog a lot earlier than you want to. So just keep that in mind, don't feel obligated to how to handle your business because of what somebody else wants to handle their business. I don't worry about it. I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. If customers find out the catalog and they let me know, sweet, that's one less person I got to worry about. I just, I don't, you know, you do you and that's all that matters to me, right? That's how I promote things. So I usually, once I know everything's being um, discontinued, I'll start running reports. I also do the same for what is coming back. So I'll run reports on scents that are coming back. So I have a very good touch point of letting them know, hey, this is what's leaving. And then, then they've turned around and say, oh, I actually don't need anything. Then I'm like, great, let me tell you what's coming back that I know you're gonna be happy about and I can get them in that way. So that's usually how I do it. I run reports and let people know what's leaving and what's coming back and all that. But I don't actually start promoting anything until the end of um, the month of the transition month. And because by that time I have all my supplies, I have the samples made, I'm kind of somewhat got my life together. Somewhat. So what supplies do you need and what do you not need? Um, so the first thing is how many catalogs are you gonna be needing? If you only went through one pack last season, then that's all you're gonna need. If your customer base has expanded a lot since last spring, summer, because your fall and winter was freaking amazing, then get maybe two packs. It's entirely up to you on how many you want. And so you also cannot even do catalogs at all if you need to be a little bit more of a budget and utilize the product brochures instead, which are a little bit cheaper. Or you can use the product list as well. So it's entirely up to you how you want to go about it. I normally save the catalogs for customers that buy, also from parties. And I use product lists for any events and online orders. And then I don't really use a lot of the product brochures anymore, but I used to use them in parties as well. So I kind of pick and choose how I want to do that because catalogs can be kind of expensive and I'm just not wanting to give them to everybody and anybody that probably has no intentions of actually buying from me and they just want something for free. Since he has given us a great bundle that has everything we actually really need to make it super easy for us. So the bundle includes a transition set testers, catalog stickers, and a product list. I don't know how much that is, but it's a pretty much a bundle in one and you don't need, need to worry about what all you need. But I will go through each of them to kind of help you see if you actually do need that because you might not out need all of those things to where you can get something a little cheaper. If you have a full set of tester sets already that is for fall and winter, the only thing you're gonna need is the trans transition set testers because they have every scent that's coming into the catalog, whether it's returning or new. Um, you can separate it out and reuse old testers and just order what you need. I don't know how price range, if it's cheaper. I haven't done that. Um, so if that works out better for you, 
do it. Um, but I normally just take everything out that, it, that is leaving and then I just toss in the transition set and put it in there and I'm done. Definitely double check the testers first because sometimes we'll end up getting a little bit of extra testers or we might not get a scent. So just make sure when you do get the transition set, make sure everything is that you need is in there. If not, let customer support know and they will take care of everything and send you what you're missing. Well, the next one is the stickers. Do you need stickers? Will you use the stickers? I absolutely love it. And if you mail out a lot of catalogs and you have customers that are out of state and cannot smell the scents and like stop by or whatever, then, or through a party or whatever it is, the stickers are very, very important, very. Um, it allows them to smell the scents before, you know, so they know what to buy. I have been using the stickers for several catalog seasons now. It has been a huge game changer for me for online parties that are people from out of state. I can give them a catalog and give them every single scent I could possibly get my hands on when it comes to stickers. I don't just do the new releases. Anything that Cincy has that has a sticker and it's a current scent in the catalog, I will buy it and put it in the catalog, and which involves me spending many hours catalog <laughs> adding the stickers to the catalog, but it's worth it. It's totally worth it because... I just had a party actually where I was um, had to bring stock and I didn't bring every single scent because not all scents are really that great in my opinion. Um, but I didn't bring everything and I brought what scents I knew that they would like and that they bought in the past. And they were asking me about some of the scents they hadn't smelled yet, which were newer scents. Well, I had they had the catalog with them and they were able to smell those scents in the catalog. And every one of them that I didn't have that they wanted to smell, they didn't like. So anyway. But, um, and then we also have the product list. So the product list that's going to be in this bundle, I use these product lists. Let me show you what they look like if you're not familiar. Um, I use these product lists for uh, my mailers and stuff. So for customers that haven't bought for me, haven't gotten a catalog for me, and maybe they're new to me, I use the product list, these, and then I have like a little template on Word that has the information on there, and I just print it on because I'm not writing that or using stickers, and i rather just print it. Um, and then I also have them because I use Project Broadcast, I have them text catalog. And so if they actually want a catalog and they get this like through the mail, they can um, text me and request a catalog that way. So I use that for online orders. So if you're somebody that just gets only online orders, maybe get a catalog for all your customers that do buy from you and then from there on utilize this. Um, so that's what I use that for. So what do you do with the testers um, that you no longer need? Um, I normally give them to my customers. I do like a little quick little flyer on like Word and just say these sends didn't return, these sends are discontinuing, whatever the case may be. And then I just hand them out and I give them in all my orders and I tell them how to remove the wax out of the testers. Some people will automatically already remove the wax and give that as a sample and keep the testers and reuse them for other types of samples. Whichever way is perfect for you, I just hand them out and let them deal with it because then it's, it's just out of my way and I don't got to deal with it anymore. So that is what I do when it comes to transition time. So utilize the, you know, your transition month to really start gearing into winding down in the, uh, the one catalog season and gearing into the new catalog season. You can promote whenever you want. Some people will tell you do not do it until later in the month. I, I, it's your business. You know what's best for you. You know your customers best. You know if your customers are going to hold off an order and not order and wait until the new catalog and that could hurt your February. Or you know if the, they don't really care, they're going to order whatever. It's entirely up to you. Um, I know my customer best and I... I probably will promote a little bit of it to my customers that I know would really like something in particular. I may use the catalog as a way to get parties booked um, and do little teasers. I like doing like the little teasers. So for me, like I'll do little teasers throughout the month of like little sneak peeks. And then um, since I'm going to world tour, I'll do videos of all of the products that we get to see different videos, different angles and everything and turn them into teaser reels where I can share them as well. So that's it for the transition training. I hope you guys were able to take away any of the things that are in that are happening with transition and I hope you guys have a great transition month and have lots of good luck um, with everything that's going to be happening and prepare because when a new catalog drops, it usually gets super busy.